Understanding Cross-Reactivity, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting and useful topic in the English language, cross-reactivity. This phrase is commonly used in science, especially in biology and chemistry, but it's also important in everyday conversations when discussing topics related to health, allergies, and more. Let's explore what cross-reactivity means and how you can use this term effectively in English. Cross-reactivity is a term used mainly in immunology. It describes a situation where one substance, like an antigen or allergen, elicits a response from something originally responsive to a different substance. Think of it as a case of mistaken identity at a molecular level. This is crucial in understanding allergies, where, for example, someone allergic to one type of pollen might react to a seemingly unrelated one due to similarities in their structures. To make this easier to understand, let's look at practical examples. 1. Allergies. If you're allergic to birch pollen, you might also react to apples. This is because the proteins in apples and birch pollen are similar enough to confuse your immune system. 2. Vaccines. Cross-reactivity is also why some vaccines protect against multiple strains of a virus. The vaccine introduces a part of the virus that is common across different strains, helping the body learn to fight off various forms. Understanding cross-reactivity is important for clear communication in healthcare and daily life. For non-native English speakers, using this term accurately can help in describing allergy symptoms to a doctor, discussing scientific concepts related to biology or chemistry, explaining why certain medications or vaccines have broader effects. That's all for our exploration of cross-reactivity. Hopefully, this video has made the concept clear and shown you how it applies in both scientific and everyday contexts. Remember, mastering terms like this can greatly enhance your English communication skills, especially in specialized fields. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next English learning adventure.